Hello everybody, welcome to the F1 2014 that you might have forgot that existed. We are on F1 2015, but you remember this? There's an option to switch to the 2014 season. We're not playing the iconically bad F1 2014 today. We're playing F1 2015, the 2014 version. All right, so here we are. Now, I can confirm at uh, some point I'm going to be doing a championship season. I don't really think I can do a F1 2013 season. Uh, so it's looking like that I'm going to have to do straight to 2014 unless I can get my Xbox 360 to work properly. But let's let's jump in here now. I mean, we, of course, have a whole lot of circuits to choose from. I don't know which one I want to do. Actually, I do know exactly which one I would probably like to do, and it's, it's Hockenheim. I love Hockenheim so much. We don't have it anymore. Of course, I think we're going to mess around on Hockenheim here uh, and see what we can do in the German Grand Prix. You guys know exactly who I'm going to be, but remember, we got all these 2014 drivers and whatnot. Oh, man, this brings back memories. Caterham, this was right in the time when I was just starting to get into Formula 1, 2014, 2015. Uh, Marussia as well uh, in there. And then, of course, uh, back when it was Sauber, Toro Rosso and Force India again. And, and then uh, Lotus was still in the sport. But can we actually see the car or not? I don't know if we can. No, we cannot. Okay, so I want to back out. Oh, I've already screwed up. All right, so we're back uh, ready to go here. So I'm going to be my favorite driver, obviously, Sebastian Vettel, alongside his uh, teammate the 2014 season, Daniel Ricciardo. So we are going to do, uh, let's just do a 25% race here in Germany and we're gonna go with clear weather no qualifying no practice we're gonna jump right into it I am on my wheels so we'll see what happens here uh, damage on full that works for me corner cutting yeah all that seems okay let's jump in look at the starting grid oh yeah look at what in the world okay it jumps okay it only shows the top 10 this is different here oh it looks so much worse back in the day but at the time I remember how cool it was as a very quick pre-show race strategy. We've got no halos as well. We got the options. We got the primes. We got the intermediates and the wets. So I'm going to go with starting on the option tire and get ready to go. Do I have a setup at all? I don't know. I do have two setups. One at Coda as well as Sepang. So look at this. This is all the way back in 2015. Oh my goodness, these were the days right here, and I would probably named it File 24 because of Jeff Gordon would be my guess. But nonetheless, um, I'm not sure what to expect how this is going to play on a wheel on an Xbox One, but we're going to find out in about three seconds. Let's get ready to go. Lights out from fourth place here. No clutch or anything to hold. Okay. All right. Here we go. Five red lights. We're underway. Jeff's still talking and we're already underway. Oh, I am slipping and sliding like crazy already. Down into turn one, the camera angle, it feels so weird. Okay. So that was, that was about as bad of a start can possibly get here. How do I look behind me? That's the camera change view. So obviously not that down to second gear. The braking feels crazy good on this car. That is that is interesting, but Perez, just in front of us, that is also, okay, there's two buttons that change the camera view, okay, oh, that's the pause button, I just want to look behind me, that's all I want to do, okay, so here we go, I have the uh, little HUD here that comes up, down to first gear, wow, the braking is actually insane on this car, it's going to take me a minute to get used to that, we are side by side with Kimi Raikkonen, he's going to get ahead, there's no ERS or anything to mess with here in this 2014 car, oh, Oh my goodness. We're going to try that again here and uh, give it another shot from P4 again. I, I already have made a air. Ayo? Ayo? Oh my goodness. There is a massive accident. Third time is definitely going to be the charm. Up to first gear. Here we go. Wow, it is hard to get a good start here. It's probably just because I haven't played this in forever and I don't remember it. Uh, but through the little turn one kink, there was definitely some contact right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. So I found a way to look back, which is fantastic. And that is by going on my controller that I have with me. Uh, however, when I do that, it actually removes the steering from my wheel. Watch this. So now I have no control until I just kind of jolt it back. So I can only do it on like straightaways and whatnot. Got to be a little bit careful with that. But yeah, I mean, I'm planning to do so. I want to do a series on basically every modern F1 game. Wow, there is no turning there. But I want to do a series 
on just about every game, uh, doing one season basically per game from F1 2012 all the way through to, uh, you know, to current day basically. So let me know if we should do this one here, 2014. Now I want to do 2013 first because, well, right now we're on 2012. Um, but the issue there is, so my Xbox 360, uh, it, it's got this weird thing where it shuts off after like half an hour, it, really any time it wants, but usually it'll make it about 25 minutes, half an hour. Um, so I, I could give it a shot and see if my F1 2013 series can make itself work. But if not, then this will be the one we jump into. And I don't have a copy of F1 2014. I think that's for the best. So I think we'll have to jump onto this version here and then we'll do F1 2015 right after so and we'll be doing a force india career i've definitely uh, liked the idea of sticking to force india for the whole time because that's a team that has gone through so many changes over the years and it would be really cool to just kind of go along with that but nonetheless we are kind of already getting into the into the habit of getting decent here i'm gonna go to rich on the field where can i see the field actually at i don't see it anywhere other than the number or the field icon at the bottom I gotta say, it is honestly crazy how good the brakes are in this game. I mean, I feel like I can brake wherever I want like I'm Superman, but we are currently P7 is Vettel. We can definitely run better than this. There we go. We are making some time now. Sebastian Vettel's favorite corner right here. This is where I still feel like the 2018 title ended right here. Just Sebastian Vettel was never the same after this moment in, in or not Hungary. Why am I thinking of Hungary? But in uh, Hockenheim. It just never felt the same after that for the rest of his career, after that crash in the rain. It was so heartbreaking. Now as we head though down into turn one, let's go for it. Oh, that was close. DRS is open and we're going to be side by side into the corner. Hard on the brakes, but look at that. I mean, I brake so much later than Massa did, but you know what? It's still worked out so easily well because the uh, braking, the stopping power is just so good on this car. I think Massa has DRS. He's going to swing back to the right side. It's getting a little bit aggressive. Look at the speed difference right there. Hold on. I'm going to send one back up. You're inside. Oh, up through down into first. This car, yes. So this car is really weird. He is... Wow, you are really putting the fight to me, but this car does not turn at all through that hairpin here. Oh, he goes a little bit wide. There we go. They are scrapping it out up in front of us as well. I think we can get to those guys in a couple of laps now that we seem to be kind of getting up to speed a little bit with this car. I remember how cool it was at the time when this game came out that we had this little uh, radio feature and then you could go in and ask stuff about the weather, inform the pit window, feel all that crazy stuff. And now there's like three pages of stuff you can ask mark at this point f1 you know 22 however uh it, it doesn't really get used a whole lot i i like to use it you know i'll, I'll use it a few times every race it is certainly something that's nice to have there because there's always like at least something that i'm interested in that i can just quickly uh ask mark and now on my pc at least you can actually speak into the mic so it makes it even easier but i never actually use it because like when i'm recording i don't really feel like talking when i'm not doing a live commentary video Looks like Danny Rick's going for a move on Alonzo. I've kind of fallen actually away from them a little bit. So, oh yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm going to get any closer after a corner like that. But they're still side by side. So actually, you know, never say never. We might actually be able to get there because they are scrapping it out. Alonzo stays ahead for now. Rosberg, there you see. Jeff says Rosberg out in front currently. So, oh wow, I completely botched that corner. But Hamilton will be second place and then... Who is in, who's in third, I wonder? Actually, I have no idea. We just ran a pretty good sector three, actually. It was purple, so that was looking really good. A little bit aggressive on the track limits there, but we have closed that gap right back up to Danny Rick here, down into the braking zone of turn two. Get that throttle input down, close in a little bit more. Alonzo's probably gonna be under pressure here from Danny Rick, down towards the hairpin. Yeah, there's no shot. I think Dan Danny's gonna get him right here. That's an easy, yeah, easy overtake. There we go, so up into now the fourth position. I'm just gonna show my nose, maybe a little bit too much nose. That was a little close. I am all over Fernando down into turn two. This is our opportunity right here. I'm going to actually stay put for now and see if we can get him on the end of the hairpin, or into the hairpin, I should say. Rosberg, I guess him and uh, Hamilton might be scrapping it out, but actually Alonso's got DRS now, so that wasn't a very smart decision. So we're going to have to wait for another opportunity now to pass Alonso. He's going to stay put behind Danny Rick for now, and I'm going to stay put right behind Fernando. Oh, no, no, no. There's a big mishap right there. That's the first time, surprisingly, 
Now we have uh, lost it a little bit here, so we got some time to make up again. We have a pit stop coming up here very soon, I'm sure. And how do I check that, actually? Can I check it, or can I just... Oh, wow, there is... All oh, the grip's gone. The grip decides it's gone, and let's see. Pit lap eight, actually. Okay, perfect. We're coming in right here. Here we go, in towards the pits now, down to third, do, oh, oh my god, the car just took control, okay, um, and let's see what happens here, do we have damage or not, I don't actually know, I don't think so, we did hit a pit sign, but I think we're fine, alright, yeah, it looks like we're all good, so, it's gonna be 2.499 seconds, and Mass is gonna come in, there it goes, Fernando just leaving now, and hopefully we can run him back down, I have found the button to look behind me, on the wheel it's been a this whole time let's see if we can pass kibby at right here i'm gonna just send one to be honest and just try to get this pass completed on him and there we go how do i get this info page out of my screen we're only actually we are only uh zero what point one to the good on field so we are pretty close right now however i think we're gonna be okay but we might have to go into the lean if if it gets a little bit too close but we'll wait and see lewis hamilton to the lead in Hockenheim, and now it's all on us. Can we run down Fernando Alonso and our teammate of Danny Rick? 3.1 seconds the gap with less than 10 laps to go. We are already up to 2.1 seconds behind, so we close the whole second right there. Seven laps to go. I think we can get there, and I can see the leaders. Actually, someone's is someone got a blue flag. I got focused on that and was looking at that, but I think someone's already somehow in, in 11 laps has managed to go a lap down. Alonzo is about to have his hands full here. Mass is doing fantastic right now, running in a P7, and I, there's definitely someone up there with a the blue flag, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm most curious just to see who has managed to get themselves lapped in 12 laps of this Grand Prix. Now, the more I'm seeing that track map, it's like uh, that, that dot that I originally saw that was blue doesn't seem to be blue anymore, so I'm like, wait a minute. Was there even a blue flag at all, or... I don't know, I'm confused now. Maybe there's no blue flags whatsoever. We are all over Fernando now. It is game on. We have put together a really good last half of the race so far, and we are about to have an easy opportunity to pass him right here. He passed us earlier through this DRS zone, but it's going to be vice versa this time around. Hello, Fernando. I'm going to swing to the right-hand side. Little did you guys know at this point, Sebastian Vettel is going to replace... Fernando Alonso down to first gear we go. Oh, a bit of a lockup. That's okay. Once again, the car just doesn't know what turning is right there in that hairpin, but we at least move ourselves up into fifth place. So it is uh, it's Roman Grosjean with the blue flag, as well as Jean-Eric Verne. Impressive that he's still uh, in the sport at this time. Now, as you can see, Ricardo was able to get past both of them. I had a really bad hairpin as usual, so it's going to take me a little bit longer to be able to get past these guys, but hopefully... Um, by the end of Sector 1, we'll have them both dealt with. I mean, Grosjean, you could pull over right here. Thank you, sir. Uh, you know what? It's like he was listening to me. Thank you very much. Oh, Jean-Eric Verne, my dude. That was a close call, but there we go. Up uh, in front of those guys now, and let's see if we can get to Danny Rick with three laps remaining in this Grand Prix. A little bit of oversteer right there, but we're okay. Oh, oh, I see somebody off on the mini-map. Somebody has gone off. The uh, track is clear, though. Just a quick little moment. They have, I can see, already gotten back on circuit. So, not sure exactly who that was. I think it was... Oh, I'm into the sand, but I think it was Alonzo because Mass is up now into sixth place. Out of the final turn, one lap remains in Hockenheim. The gap is 1.4 seconds between myself and Ricardo. Can we find a way to gain four tenths? I think we just did, actually. We are a little bit closer. Let's see. Down into the braking zone. Oh, boy. I braked a little early, and then I ended up just kind of going way too deep into the corner after that. So it's not going to be DRS, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. So, yeah, no DRS. We're going to have to find a way to gain a whole lot of time on Danny Rick in these final couple of sectors without any assistance and here we go down into first gear i drove in a little bit deep to say the least but hey you got to do what you got to do try it out and let's see there is some slower traffic up there that we will not get to so that will not be a factor down into the braking zone to third gear and oh we're, we're definitely quicker than danny rick right now but i just don't have enough for him 
through the final sector we head now and it's going to be i think hamilton getting the win we're about to find out but the gap 1.1 seconds abusing every track limit i can lewis hamilton wins in hockenheim we close up to ricardo but it's not going to be enough unless something crazy happens here in the final moments do we have anything hold on hold on a second hold on a second oh it was close i tried i tried to get a little spicy right there with daniel but not enough p5 in hockenheim but we will take that a lot a lot of fun uh to play f1 2015 but the 2014 version there is sebastian vettel climbs out of the car doesn't look the most thrilled as you can see the expression on his face uh but yeah that is f1 2015 with the 2014 version that you might have forgotten about if you guys enjoyed you know what to do i don't know how many cars or how how they all managed to go a lap down like that subtle as well actually got a five second time penalty for ignoring yellow flags so there you have it but that's gonna wrap it up for me i hope you guys enjoyed I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everybody.